Hey YouTube, how you doing? <clears throat> um, I was just doing some research because I always have questions about about certain uh, topics when it um, when it comes to certain things, and if I'm not quite sure about how I should approach certain things because we think we know, but you know it's, the answers are not always clear. One of the things was. Um, uh, should a man or a woman, you know, should they be compensated for the services that they render? You know, many times uh, uh, people like to take advantage of your kindness and your goodness. So I typed in, um, what does the Bible say about working? And th th this one showed up to where does the Bible say about uh, employment? So we'll read, uh, during biblical times, people were, were self-employed, contract laborers, or servants obligated to long-term service. Okay, so let's look at that first line. During biblical times, people were self-employed. We have that now. Contract laborers, which they get uh, industrial contracts to build uh, houses and um, buildings and things of that nature. Contractors, you know, contractors license, you know. Or servants obligated to long-term service. That one is the one that I'm, I'm seeking at because basically what it boils down to is the social security number that falls under servants obligated to long-term service. You know, um, they they cleverly have con uh, concocted a, a system where they tell you, ah, come and, and we'll uh, we'll do this for you and do that for you. And then you sign up for the, you know, use their, their number, their name, and then they get you into these unfair contracts. And then uh, it goes on, okay, most of the Bible's, uh, Bible comments on employment focuses on servants or slaves. You see? You see how they call it servants or slaves? That's what, that's what most people are when they're on these jobs, these 40-hour jobs. or They're just slaving them to death, making them do two, two and three jobs for the same amount of, of uh, IOUs or pay, as they would call it. Outside of self-employment, see, self-employment is the best one. That's that's the free one. That's that's when you're actually free. It was most common form of labor, and it was the main form of labor that kept the employer, the master, the United States government, tied to his employee, servant, the U.S. citizen, Social Security, name and number. <laughs> A master had to supply his servants with basic necessities of food, clothing, and shelter. So that's wel welfare. That's welfare. That's HUD and food stamps. There's food stamps, HUD, and then they have the, the Salvation Armies and things of that nature. <clears throat> Service became a part of their master's household. You're, under, you're subjugated to the United States government. You're under their rule, under their thumb. Now, as you might suspect, when men are involved, there were a wide variety of masters. Some took good care of their servants many but many did not okay the u.s government is is the headmaster and then all the corporations are the are the the individual like the generals you know like the they take care of a, a certain set of slaves in this area in california and texas all across the country but the government is the overseer, and you're subjugating yourself as a slave or serving as a slave to the, the Social Security name and number. <clears throat> Masters and bosses. Um, Masters, give your bond servants what is just and fair, knowing that all, knowing that you also have master in heaven. Those in charge are, are to treat those in their care justly and fairly that's why you that's why the u.s government gives you civil rights see you don't have unalienable rights because you gave you've given those away they give you civil rights that's why there's all this talk about civil rights well civil rights are, are just a fancy term to we get to give you any rights we feel like it and if we want to abuse you we can and you agree to it because you've taken yourself out of out of the jurisdiction and out, out of the care of our lord jesus christ god supported by the Constitution, and, and you agreed to be our slave here under the Social Security name and number. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
see, uh, as you would like God to treat you, you should treat those under you. Indeed, the wages of the labor who, who mow your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out and cry, and the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. No, 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 that's supposed to be, uh, that's James 5, 4. So here is here they use the word fraud. Isn't that what they're doing now? Everything is a fraud? You know, they're deceitful. They don't want to tell us the truth. They're constantly lying to us. But since you agreed to work, be subjugated to them through the Social Security name and number, they get to do whatever they want, and you agree to it because you didn't read the fine print. Those hired deserve their pay. When bosses mistreat, mistreat their employees such as not paying what is owed, God promises to hold the masters accountable. And I will come near you for judgment. I will be swift. A, I will be a swift witness against those who exploit wage earners. Notice how they use the word wage. On the 1040 form, when you're when you're signing a, as an employee of the of the U.S. government, because that's what you're doing. That way, they get you under the IRS codes. It says your wages. Also, notice that they say the wages of sin is death. See, debt is sin. And notice how they always want to put you in debt. This is a debt system. The, the, the U.S. government is operating on the debt system. To, to, it's a perpetual debt system where you're never going to get out of it. That way, it's, it's a lifelong commitment. They, they, they completely trap you in there. This goes on to say about more things, but I just wanted to, to briefly cover the top part because I get a lot of gay people, oh, the, the Bible is, is sick and it talks about being slaves and blah, blah, blah. Well, it's because they don't understand. First off, you're gay. You're homosexual. You don't even know who you are. So how is it that you're going to try to understand who God is? You don't. You don't have. You don't have an idea of who you are. You think that it. it you think that it's no, normal for you and another man to be doing your 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 filthiness in in whatever. Now let, let's look at that. Okay, let's take away the fact. Okay, let you and another man be together, and and how are you gonna make a baby? Where does the baby come from? There's no computers. There's no fallen angels. There's none of that. It's just you two dudes. Doing you whatever you're doing, all your nasty stuff. How, where's the baby going to come from? Same with women. Where's the baby going to come from? They're not going to help you, you know, create all this fake test tube babies. And there's none of that going on. It's just you two women. How, how are you going to create a baby? Whereas the way God designed it, which is the right way. Hello, it's in our face. There's a man, a woman that produce a baby. From that baby goes on and on and on and that's how all of us came here god's design hello so the gay people love to to say how god is evil and how he makes slaves and done he didn't make a slave it tells you right here let, let, let's take a look at it again most of the bible's comments on employment focuses on servants or slaves which is what they're crying about and which they keep saying how how it's evil Outside of self-employment. See, you still have the right to be self-employed. You still have the right to be a free man if you choose to. You just got to be smart enough not to contract with the devil and then be moaning and groaning and crying when the devil is mistreating you. That's what you're doing. When you're contracting with the U.S. government, you're contracting with the devil, period. Real good proof of that is simple. Where's the where's where is the Bible at in the court system? It used to be there. It's not there anymore. Why? Why is the Bible being taken out? Uh, maybe because they're not serving God. Maybe because they they deny the the fact that Jesus Christ died for all our sins and rose from the dead and is sitting on the right hand of the Father. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe they don't want to be held accountable. So if they can't be held accountable, how are you going to get justice from them? Hello? Anybody home? I mean, it's all in our face. But people keep playing 
their games and they're not reading the law, which is the Bible. Like, I'm finding it. I'm finding it all every day, all day long. As I keep researching the Bible, everything is coming to me like quick. These are some of the reasons why I make these um, videos so that I can help others to, to open their eyes. Anyway, this is real talk. I wanted to just touch on this subject, how um, everybody says that the Bible is evil. No, it's not evil. It's because you do not understand and you keep contracting with the devil, expecting him to be honorable like Jesus is. You're not going to get any honor or faith or love or anything else from that evil entity, the fallen angel with his minions. The only one that can save you and the only one that's going to help you is the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for your, our sins, who rose from the dead, conquered the devil, and is sitting out at the right hand of the Father. Repent of your sins, as I do every day. Give your life to, to the Lord Jesus Christ and seek his face. He is our only hope. This is Real Talk, uh, signing off, and I just want to wish everybody, God bless you guys, and I'll keep praying for everyone. Take care.